Hi y'all, this is Sandra. This is part three of my topic, Real Men Keep It Real. And I will say, wimps need not apply. I'm not interested. And those who don't have above average communication skills, we will be unequally yoked. I can handle not having above average written communication skills, maybe. And a sense of humor is mandatory. Yes, you must make me laugh regularly. And so I also wanted to share, when it comes to... Oh, and please, let me not forget. Hygiene. Oh, my goodness. The trifling hygiene ain't going to cut it. It shouldn't cut it for nobody. Uh Uh-uh. Hair should be tight and right. Yes. No ashiness and cruddy feet and stuff. Oh, no. Cracking heels. Ooh. And when it comes to the marriage situation and into the sexual situation, I'm not going to get raw because I understand that it's not appropriate, but I'm going to go to an extent. Some men, well, I wouldn't even call them thoroughbred men because real men keep it real and they know or they're inclined to learn. This wanting to have sexual intercourse hubbies at night when you hit the bed with no foreplay beforehand, and I'm talking foreplay in my estimation is like washing the dishes in the daytime, cleaning the bathroom in the daytime, affectionate gestures in the daytime. Don't wait until you're reclined in the bed to want to get your groove on. Women are not wired like that, at least most women that I know and have heard about. So if y'all want all this freaky deaky in the nighttime, or not necessarily at the, at the night, in the nighttime, but if y'all want the freaky deaky whenever time, foreplay, foreplay, foreplay. That means being tender and gentle and kind and considerate and respectful during the course of the days on the regular. If you do that, y'all don't have to be. Pressed, women will be more than likely glad, provided they're not overworked or you know having some kind of uh, afflictions or infirmities. But on the on the overall tip, you don't have to worry. But again, for play, for play, for play, dudes, come on, peoples. So I wanted to share that and. Women, as far as these men that you're dating and things, don't always expect for them to be buying you something. And don't always expect for them to be spending huge sums of money on you. You want an a, a expensive pair of boots or you want an expensive outfit. You don't need to be tripping like that. And any man that's overdoing the spending and every time you turn around he buying you something, to me, that is not a real man. Balance it out. You don't have to buy me. You don't have to be out there spending all this money on me or women. If you treat them good, a lot of times women, they want quality time. They want respect and gentleness shown and affection and love displays. PDA, Public Demonstrations of Affection. Don't overdo it now. I have a serious problem. I don't care if you're married or not. Do not squeeze my behind in public. That is tacky and trifling, and I believe it's disrespectful. I don't care if I've been married to you for 15 years or whatever the case may be. Do not squeeze my behind in the public domain. No. And I don't think anyone should allow such. But again, this is no one-size-fits-all. Some of this is preference. But I do believe firmly in mutual respect being shown. And also, it's been said, you can tell a lot about a man based on how he treats his mama. 
I dated this guy one time, and he took me around his mother, and I mean, he was talking to her disrespectfully and sharp. That that definitely took the rain out of the, the parade. What's the, well, I'm not even sure I had a phrase. It took the sail, the wind out of the sails. I, I'm going to get it together here because I don't have any notes, y'all. Yes, it did. It did not uh, bode well for him, put it like that. That definitely changed the atmosphere when I heard how he talked to his mama. Uh-uh, no. Respect your mother. And on the other hand, the mama's boys, they 40, 50 years old, and they still mama's boys. That does not work well either. Real men are not mama's boys. Yes, they love their mothers, they help their mothers, but they're not tied to their mama's apron strings. So, and a real man will be about having a J-O-B. And anybody can get laid off and such. But if that is the case, he needs to be looking in earnest. And I do mean in earnest. Until he gets placed somewhere. And it's good for more entrepreneurial pursuits to be explored. It's not for everybody, but it can be a very prosperous useful exercise to be an entrepreneur and some folks do it on the side and have a full-time job as well and some folks do so well that they can quit their full-time jobs and go full-time as business owners it all depends but you want a man that is definitely going to have some goals some ambitions but then you don't want a workaholic real men are not workaholics and real men to me know how to cook something Besides boiled eggs, get in there and do some kind of meals. They have about maybe five or six meals you can do without assistance. Because I'm not about, you know, cooking all the time every day or even five days a week. So, brother man going to have to have some cooking skills or you don't know, have to be fancy gourmet. But something, something up in the kitchen abode for real, for real. And that can be foreplay too. Cooking some meals for us women, Woo, yes indeed, that is really attractive to us. And be a smiler, and be a giver. I don't like no stingy man. Real men are not stingy. Real men are giving, but they don't do it in excess. They know how to balance and keep it in perspective. They know how to say yes, and they know how to say no. And they don't feel guilty when they justifiably say no. Real men keep it real, y'all. So, I haven't done anything but scratch the surface, but you get the drift overall relative to my preferences and beliefs and wise counsel based on the years I've been on the planet. So, I hope that you gained something from this. I appreciate you listening. Thank y'all. Father, thank you for the information I was able to share based on what I have engaged in throughout my life's journey. In Jesus' precious and glorious name, Lord, thank you. Amen. Bye, y'all.